Hello, we're back with a, an informational video, shall we say. Stroke slash instructional video. This right here is the Pro Jammer. No, the Wind Jammer, the Pro Wind Jammer. Who cares? Oh, you care. I'll put a link to it anyway in the video so you know what to look for. It's made by a company called ProLine. It's the Wind Jammer 2.2, that's what it is. It's gonna sit over the bottom of my helmet, stop wind coming in, hopefully, around the chin area which is where most of your wind noise comes from, believe it or not, as long as you've got a properly fitting visor. You get a lot of modulars with the flip up face where they come in through the sides because they're poor quality. Anyway, to do this video, or to do this, this wind jammer, this sits like this underneath the helmet, but it's got this protective strip on it on the silicon that holds it against the helmet. So the first thing you need to do is take that off. So we're gonna take it off from here, and then we're gonna start at the back of the helmet. Why would they sew that in? That's a stupid idea. Who did that? Give that a little pinch. Oh, it's sticky as hell. Ugh. It's like having jam on your fingers. Right, so we need to get the back on first. And it should be as simple as line it up with the name. Ah, stuck on my fingers. <laughs> and then stick it on your lid. Now it's silicon, it's not glue. So it shouldn't cause any lasting damage to your lid. It might cause lasting damage to your fingers though, because you will have them stuck to the back of your helmet for the rest of your days. Now as I explained previously, this, um, this has got to go over my GoPro mount and also my uh, my AGV Share Easy. What you don't want to do is do this on the carpet and let it stick on the carpet. Also what you don't want to do is let it bend over and get the hairs on your arm. Right, we're halfway. Ah, I think that's stretched enough so far. So we want to keep it so it's attached to the side of the helmet and it wants to fix on pretty well. Now I cannot move my share easy, that's for sure. Because that is bonded to my helmet with a very, very powerful, powerful substance. Get off of there, you little mug. I might be able to get my GoPro mount off though. Well, I mean, that was almost too easy. It's on. It's in place. Well, this gluey part is kind of on my GoPro, but I can actually fit that in. Oh, once I pull it out the back. Ah, crap. Stuck on the glue. Let me out it. So actually, that's no hardship at all. And the easy, the share easy, well, there's only one button I really use. That one. And I can still get to that. Well, that one and that one. So that's not the end of the world. Let's give that a good stick down so it's at least stuck on for the rest of the lid. I don't plan on taking this off anytime soon anyway. The only thing is it's not stuck on very well there. Let's see if this wind jammer from ProLine will go over my head. It's a bit weird, look how small that hole is. <laughs> oh. Well, that and my new cheek pads as well, it's, uh, that's quite tight. Let's do the all straps up. So you know what I said before about moving? That's about as much movement as you want. If you can turn your head inside massively, your helmet doesn't fit. In all honesty, this still isn't the best fit for me. It's a bit too round, uh, but it's not as bad as it was. And I have got a little bit more wind coverage from this, which is actually going quite tight around the back and around my neck. I think with a with a sleeve thing on that you put on, one of these on it'd be even better. So let's try that actually. See if I can get it on. There's me jabbering away with my helmet on. I don't even know if you can hear me. It's my free KTM one that I got with the bike. 
I know everyone and their auntie gives these away, but it's nice that the KTM do that. Send you one in the post after you've after you've bought one. I can't imagine Fantic are going to send me one after I've bought their Fantic bike. Good God! Great Scott, man! That's tight as a nun's chuff. This fits really well. Oh, can you hear me? I can't hear nothing. Bloody hell, it's not in here. Reach it up to the sky. And it's all pink white. You're electrified. Well, it definitely blocked some sound out. And oh, bloody hell, it's hot. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that that will work. Now, what I did want to do was do this, go and do a test so you'd know, but I mean I've ridden before so I know what it's like anyway, but I wanted to do this before I did the screen on the bike, uh, but I've gone and done the screen on the bike and this. So I'm not 100% sure that's going to be 100% effective, but the new bike, the Fantic that I potentially am going to buy, doesn't have a screen because it's an off-road bike. Well, it's a proper dual sport trail bike. So I'll do a video on the bike, see how this goes. I've got a horrible feeling that because this doesn't seal to the helmet, that potentially air is going to creep in here and then it's going to flow through and this will just inflate my helmet and my head will be like this and then I'll fly off the bike. That's not going to happen. I'll take it easy to start with, but it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't stand out too much. I don't think you'd be able to tell unless I showed you a video of me doing it that this was here. It's a good work wind jet, uh, ProLine. Pro -line. It's a good work pro line on the Windjammer 2.2. They also do another version which has got like a snood that comes around and a zip and you put your head in and then zip this thing in for winter winter. I didn't see that on Amazon though so maybe you can't get that anywhere. But all in all, I'm quite pleased with how that went. The next video hopefully will be me riding the bike and telling you how great this is. Might not be, but hopefully it will be. Same as always, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. I'm sure we'll have some more videos for you coming soon, predominantly me testing that, then you seeing the new bike and all that. I'm going to Motorcycle Live on Sunday. I may take the camera, do a little bit of videoing. Who knows? Thanks for watching. We love you.